Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Biology Notes. Today I am going to discuss the cleavage. Definition, planes of cleavage and types are the main topics to be discussed in this video. In embryology, cleavage is a series of rapid mitotic cell divisions in the early development of the embryo following fertilization. So, the cleavage divides the embryo without increasing its mass. So, a cluster of cells is produced having the same size of the original embryo. The cells which are produced by this mitotic cell division are known as blastomeres. The compact mass of cells is known as morula. Finally, the cleavage ends by the formation of blastula having a fluid filled cavity known as blastocell. First, I will discuss different planes of cleavage furrows. There are mainly four cleavage planes, meridional plane, vertical plane, equilateral plane and latitudinal plane. Through these diagrams, I tried to explain the planes of cleavage. Meridional plane. Here, the cleavage furrow passes through the center of animal vegetal axis and bisects the both poles of the egg. For example, first and second cleavage furrow of frog, first cleavage furrow of chig embryo occur in meridional plane. Vertical plane. Here, the cleavage furrow tends to pass in a direction from the animal pole towards the vegetal pole, but like meridional plane, it does not pass through the median axis of the egg. Rather, it courses to one side of this axis. For example, third cleavage furrows of amia calva, lepidosteus osseus, and cheek, etc. Equilateral plane. Here, the cleavage furrow bisects the egg at right angles to the main axis and halfway between the animal and vegetal poles. For example, fifth cleavage planes of the eggs of ambistoma maculatum and first cleavage plane of eggs of higher mammals. Latitudinal plane. Here, the cleavage furrows course through the cytoplasm on either side of the equilateral plane. It is also called transverse or horizontal plane. For example, third cleavage planes of Amphioxus and frog. On the basis of potentiality of blastomeres, the cleavage may be determinate or indeterminate. Determinate cleavage. Here, cleavage follows a precise pattern. Each blastomere has its characteristic position and each has a specific developmental fate which is set early. Since the developmental fate is set early for each of the blastomeres, so each of these cells cannot individually develop into a whole organism. This type of cleavage can be seen in some animals, for example, tunicates, mollusks, annelids, etc. Indeterminate cleavage. By this mode of cleavage, the resultant blastomeres are qualitatively equipotential and each has the ability to develop into a complete embryo. The developmental fate is not determined in the early embryonic stage. This type of cleavage is found in vertebrates. Now I will discuss the role or influence of yolk 
on cleavage the cleavage occurs more readily in the active cytoplasm than the yolk laden cytoplasm of the egg the yolk participates neither in cleavage nor in the formation of embryo it simply provides nourishment to the developing embryo the amount of yolk influences the course of cleavage by different ways that i will discuss when the amount of yolk increases the amount of active cytoplasm gradually decreases as a result the zygotic nucleus is displaced from the geometrical center of the egg to the less yolky or active cytoplasm such a displaced nucleus result in unequal cytokinesis and unequal sized blastomeres when the yolk granules or platelets become very abundant they tend to retard or inhibit the process of cleavage as a result the blastomeres which are richer in yolk tend to divide at a slower rate and consequently remain larger than those which have less yolk thus amount and distribution of yolk may determine the cleavage variously the cleavage may be total or holoblastic cleavage and meroblastic cleavage holoblastic or total cleavage here the zygote and blastomeres are completely divided so the number of blastomeres doubles with each cleavage it is two types equal holoblastic cleavage when holoblastic cleavage occurs in microlecithal and isolecithal eggs it produces blastomeres of equal or approximately equal size example amphioxus marsupials placental mammals etc unequal holoblastic cleavage in mesolecithal and telolecithal eggs the holoblastic cleavage produces unequal sized blastomeres as a result many small sized blastomeres called micromeres and few large sized yolk laden blastomeres called macromeres are produced example lower fishes amphibians etc meroblastic cleavage it is also known as partial or incomplete cleavage this kind of cleavage occurs in macrolecithal and centrolecithal eggs here the cleavage furrows divide the small amount of active cytoplasm of animal pole or periphery of egg most of the yolky portion of vegetal pole or central area of egg remains undivided meroblastic cleavage may be of two types discoidal meroblastic cleavage in the macrolecithal and highly telolecithal egg the cleavage remains restricted to the disc shaped active cytoplasm of animal pole example elasmo branch fishes bony fishes reptiles birds and monotrem mammals superficial meroblastic cleavage in centrolecithal eggs the cleavage remains restricted to the peripheral cytoplasmic region of egg example arthropods especially insects so this is all about the different planes and types of cleavage if you have any query please comment share the video if you like subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos stay with us keep watching thank you